What are three words that best describe my work? Um, paintings, uh, place, and home. place to me. Pretty unique I, I'd say. Um, super remote environment, pretty rugged, um, pretty raw, exposed on the edge of the state. And I think as well um, in a place like that, in a landscape like that, the weather influences you in such a big way. And when you're growing up you're experiencing that and there's no walls up and there's no way of hiding that because you are outside and you are there. And, you know, that world between you and that place is very connected. I think there is a certain determination and resilience that naturally comes from being in a place that's a little more remote. So when you do find that thing that you are really engaged with and you can do, um, it's not as accessible, so you have to work a little bit harder and be a little bit more determined. And I think isolation kind of breeds that resilience or that drive. It's interesting now, it's so tied up in, um, this, this idea of this place is so tied up in my work and myself and my sense of belonging that it's almost become this thing that's bigger than it, just a, you know, a hometown. The way I try and deal with that is majority of the time in mark making and actually in painting in the way I'm applying the paint. It's raw and rough and not neat around the edges so that that you know, can, can reflect that idea that it isn't a perfect place and it is challenging and, and being honest to that. That idea of um, call and response is something that I kind of developed during my studies, um, during my honours year, as just a way to describe that um, relationship between myself and, and the place and then the painting becoming the, um, the realisation of that conversation between self and place and calling out to those um, memories and experiences and then responding through paint making marks or drawing or thinking about it or just being with the work has become a really important way for me to feel grounded and connected and a sense of belonging to home and it's still there and I'm still giving it my time and I'm still giving it my energy and my love. I think working every day and working every day in the studio um, helps with, yeah, just giving that confidence um, with what you're doing when it becomes more second nature. And I think I'm very aware that I want to be moving forward and I want the paintings to be changing. I hope that people are able to kind of move through the paintings and discover those different layers and then find those little pockets of recognisable figurative things. So I wonder if that might be part of what people can get out of my work as well is a, is a reflection on their own connections or relationships to place. And just because these paintings are about a very specific place um, doesn't mean that that can't trigger people to consider about where you belong and, and the landscape and other places um, as well. You know, if someone was to say to me that your work is honest uh, and real and raw, that's pretty much the biggest compliment um, I can imagine receiving because I just really grasp and hold on to the bottom line through the whole process is constantly asking myself, is this 
true to your experience? Is this honest? Is this really your home? If at any point it starts to feel inauthentic um, or I'm not, I'm going back to that place and I'm not seeing something different, then I guess I know that it's time to maybe have a little break and move on for a while, but it's yet to happen. <laughs>